Hey y'all, this is Ursk. Welcome back to another episode of our Thracian Conquest. Uh, we've got a bunch of promotions to hand out, so let's do that. Uh, accuracy 3 would be nice. I'm gonna probably get extra range on these guys if I can, just to aid in the Siege of Rio. And we may actually be able to get to that point uh, with our military here, mainly because we have a crap ton of said military. And we'll be able to be gaining a lot of promotions thanks to our honor tenants that we took early on in the game. And this fellow is one of our... He's not one of our... Where is our scout archer dude? This guy, he is one of them. You are one of them! Uh, perfect. So you go here. We want to pursue his military units kind of down across the world here. Make sure we can clear them out before we decide to take the other city. Take that crossbow from there. Nice. And let's see. You are not... Oh, triple barrage. Don't mind if I do. And this is another scout type crossbow, and we're going to keep this one locked down so we can keep that uh, longsword from moving, and we're going to sweep around here with our crossbows once we deal with his crossbows, and take it down. See how that works? And then we'll actually be able to in a good, good position. He'll be running out of military pretty much completely at this point. And between all the crossbows and all the cannons firing on heal, we should be able to take it. Uh, we will take some losses. I just The issue is I do not want to wait until dynamite. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Um... It'll just take too damn long. Let's say... Oh, gosh. Well, we're pretty close to Gajamada, I guess. Uh, rulers in Buddhism, we don't particularly care if that gets enacted. I would hate to have trouble with happiness. Let's just try to vote no for... Then again, I don't want to anger anyone. So, you know what? I'm going to abstain completely. I'm going to abstain. Uh, abstain, abstain. Commit delegates. We're not voting anywhere. No. We're not going to approve anything from anybody. Ever. Uh, are you one of our dudes? You're not one of our dudes, but you can move over here and become one of our dudes. Javelin warriors. Awesome. So I'll have be able to have two units shooting at these long swordsmen, and ultimately they will go down. Uh, I, you know, I might as well move my cannon up. Use it to start pinging at the crossbow. At this point, why not? We have it there. Uh, that general, I'm going to keep him under a unit escort just in case. Chemistry still... Son of a... I just don't understand why I'm being spied on. I'm... Still just in fifth place. I may... As soon as I get industrialization, this spy is going counter-spying. But look at this. We have a decent amount of gold income now. A really decent amount of gold income. Um, so we should... Once we take industrialization down... I think dynamite would make sense. Because this would make taking out uh, Japan really easy. The scientific theory, I think, would be a quick second, honestly. Do that, then dynamite, I think. We may need astronomy, and then... By that point, unfortunately, given that our tech was a little slower, frigates may be already outdated. Uh, unless they come out with, like, four promotions and plus one range. Then they can still be useful. We'll see what we can do with that. Uh, I do... I'm really sad about not uh, getting frigates up, but... Ugh. Oh, well. Maybe for an actual naval map at some point, we'll do that. And for the moment, we don't have a map that is naval enough. You're not naval enough for me. Okay, and they're still tagging Sao Paulo for some odd and unknown reason. Again, trying to keep me on my back foot, I suppose, in some bizarre space of the future. They think that doing that will keep me down. No, sir, you cannot bring me down. No, 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 no. I'll tell you once more before I get out the door. Do not bring me down. In the immortal words of Yellow, right? Am I right? Anyone know that song? No? No one? I'm so old. No, it's okay. It's okay. I will not cry. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we gotta deal with this crossbow before he gets annoying. We'll keep pinging at this thing for now. Uh, none of these guys have shots anymore. It's tough to tell with these javelin promotions, because they can always skirmish. Um, but I think, I think that's all the shots we have. And you can go over here, get another tobacco up. No, oh, we are a little shine happiness, but these coliseums should aid that considerably. Did I cancel the cannon? I did not. Uh, that's because I keep forgetting everything's a goddamn cue in this game. Um, okay. My mistake. Let's see. You can go here and keep growing and get us a little more science for our trouble. Amphitheater and Lighthouse is almost up, so finally we have this city in a more or less cognizably recognizable state. Get a little more population uh, via Lighthouse. We'll get the university staffed. And the issue is going to be right now, do I do military or not? I will cross that bridge once we get the amphitheater up. How about that? Uh, what are we doing here? Yep, so the rest of you are just going to go on alert, alert, uh, alert, and alert. Let's see, what happened in the World Congress? Ban luxury glass passes. Everyone voted yes for this, oddly enough. 
Uh, Buddhism fails, not unexpected, and we took care of that already without even knowing it. Oh, cool. We have a tile that their capital can work that can actually get us food. Let's do that. Uh, so that was Gruya. We knew that. Let's see what else. Water and... Oh, f uh, food tile. Nice. Do we have food tile here? We did. Let's get a farm up there while Sukudama grows, slowly but surely. We're going bank with you, huh? I guess that's probably safer than another cargo ship for now, just because I'm not sure how much more war we're going to get erupted into, but methinks it may be considerable. So let's just kind of take it easy for now. And right now we'll be able to clean up this crossbow, and then kind of sit out here, wait for any other Brazilian units that spawn. I actually might capture this worker with my cannon, because I can, and having an extra worker to build a road to Setopolis would make my reinforcement job easier. Gaja Mod is planning as Darius, by the way. We did that. Yep. Okay. There's two things. He already launched a sneak attack and he's plotting, so we already informed Darius of that. Now we have a musket man with double cover, which would be most useful for us, so that is perfect. You can just fortify up for now, and uh, you're going to die now. Yes, you are. We're going to capture a worker with a cannon, because that makes a lot of sense. Get horses into our empire, as expected, and then we'll have happiness aplenty. And how many more of these Coliseums do we need, actually, to get a uh, Circus Maximus going? Do you know? You have a Coliseum already. Let's see. So, Topolis and Serdica. And Serdica has been put off temporarily by the cannon, but that's all right. So, this will be keeping up with our growth, more or less. So, that's fine. Uh, and let's just keep working on this like I said we would. Hey, you got a promotion. Awesome. Just kind of want to see. I'll take volley on the cannons, obviously. Um, I explained my reasoning in a previous episode on why I take volley on two-range siege units. Uh, mainly because that's the only way they're going to be useful. They do die, as you saw that last uh, war. We lost a lot of them, mainly just because they are fragile and shot at by 70 strength cities or things ridiculous like that. So the only way to make them really useful is to take siege and get as many shots in as you can while you can take those shots. So that is pretty much the, the reasoning there. And I expect to pretty much lose all my cannons by the end of the siege, but I kind of expect and hope that I will have some veteran crossbows to make me feel better about that. Uh, by the time this thing is over. Let's see. And nothing to go there. So, yeah. Uh, you already took shots at the longsword. Maybe I can bait him to attack me from here. That might be nice, actually. Go that way. And, yeah, that looks good to me. Our front looks pretty solid. Winfield Scott. No idea who he is. But he sounds merkin to me. Maybe he's a Civil War guy. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, yeah, yeah, I baited some stuff out. Nice. So he does have muskets now, which is good to know. I'm glad I knew that before we decided to get into a war here. Move my javeliner promotion. Um, extra. Ooh, research agreement complete. Nice. Closer to industrialization. Now much closer. How late are we to the industrial? I know a lot of people came in before us. Japan beat us. Oh, he denounced me this way. Backstab me. Wait a minute. He didn't attack me, did he? So Japan beat us the industrial. Darius, Pocatello are still in the Renaissance, so is Pachacuti and Gaja. So not that many got there. Japan, I was surprised he got the industrial before me, because he only has two cities. Does he still only have two cities on? Yeah, he only has two cities, so I guess he's just using the reduced tech points to do that with, but uh, we went the right way, I think, absolutely, by taking the techs that we did. Why do we need to go here? Oh, that's right, we're at war with Prague, aren't we? Damn. Well, this is going to hurt a bit. Let's uh, go here for now. Are there any traders coming out of Serdica? I'm not sure. Um, well, we're going to have a... <laughs> the war of the Trireme versus Caravel and a city. So we still might win that. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's do some killing, yeah? Take that down and kill the longsword. Nice. Okay, so let's take a shot. And parade our... This is basically going to be a giant parade of crossbows. Taking pot shots at muskets. Nice. Okay. So this guy finally took that worker we wanted to take. You can go here, repair this, so we can sell it to someone. You're still healing up, so that's good. I am going to need kind of a cavalry unit at some point. I may just straight up buy one uh, once we get the horses up, because that'll be the easiest way to take the city, because I don't can't really depend on my musket to do it safely. At this point, at least. Uh, yep, Caravel's near. Messers, he, oh, he just entered the industrial, so there we go. And Serdiga has grown. Um, yeah, that's... An issue, obviously, because that freaking thing's in the water, but that's all right. A little faster cannons never hurt anyone. Yeah, my cannon's doing fine. You're our volley cannon. You're not yet. You're getting there. I just set him up in case something does come running out at us from the fog. Goes, la, 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 
Hello. Boom. And we can knock it down right before it takes our cannons. Giant cannon blast to the face. Hey there, he has more muskets. I'm actually really glad this is happening now, because if he committed these muskets after I positioned my cannons, this would actually be a problem to deal with. However, as it stands, it's not going to be a problem to deal with at all, in the least. Hey, Caravel. Wait, hold on. This is a Ragusan Caravel. Are we at war with Ragusa? Bo Bogota, Manila, Vancouver, Prague. We're not. So let's take Borden Party 1 and kill this, maybe? Let's just fortify up, actually. I'm a little concerned that I might not kill it, and that would be a waste. Another training post up here. Um, we're going to use one of these workers to build the road, so I'm not too worried about that. So far, we haven't lost any of our major trade routes, which I'm really happy about. I kind of expected to, given how strong uh, Navy presence we had with other civs, but uh, hey, I will take it. Uh, we're going to knock this musket man down a couple pegs with our crossbow, as you do. And we're going to probably take a shot with this guy. Yep. And then swap out, because we're a javeliner, and come in, and come in. The water is fine. And boom. No more musket. And yet another great general. Are you serious right now? Wow, we have a lot of great generals. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to do with him. I don't need three at the front. We're just going to leave him back here, I suppose. Is there anything I want to steal? I could steal El Dorado from Kizil. That would be a nice acquisition. I'd probably drop the Citadel here or something. But there's really nothing that valuable. I might save that guy to kind of bulb for a tile I really want later in the game if I see, like, oh, <laughs> hey there, Batam. I knew someone was going to settle down here. Japan, you should have done it. You should have killed Indonesia. Uh, if I see, like, oil or something that I really want that I can't get, like, maybe out here, I may use the general to bulb for that. I think that's a good idea. So we're not going to use him up. Lysander can take a good vacation and hang out for the moment. Uh, let's get another cannon in here just uh, so we can get ready to go against Rio. This can has two movement. Yeah, we're okay there. And I mean, I'll see if it gets attacked. If it gets attacked, then I know they have ships somewhere. But until that happens, I think I'll assume they do not. I'm going to keep back here just to scout out and see if they have anything worth coming from behind Rio. And this is a little scary with just three cannons, but you have... I do have luxury resources you want. Oddly enough there, friend. Tobacco would be nice for 7 GPT. Yes, please. Thank you, sir. See, does he have any other military units he wants to send against me? Uh, I guess just the Great General. I mean, the Great General. The Great Engineer, which is a dangerous, dangerous military unit, as you know. As we well know, Great Engineers. Violent, violent folk. With their spanners and wrenches and whatever the hell else they use to measure things. Uh, okay. Crossbow's gonna go back here. Again, we're gonna use our crossbows as quasi-siege units um, and while we're ready to take the city. Because the cannons are gonna go here, take some serious attrition. We're just gonna move our crossbows in and use them to take the city as well while we're there. We can take shots, I guess, here. That's fine. Uh, let's heal up once to 62. We'll be able to heal up a little more once we pillage that tile. Mm, yeah, let's heal up for a turn. And you can go here. And that cannon will be able to go into Rio. And then, yeah, we're going to need to move in to see the city as it is. Our musket is finally healed up, so he can do his musket thing and go here. General is going to take a step across the river to cover these. This general is going to come here. Oh, he's already covering them, so that's fine. And, yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Who grew? You grew. Sotopolis. Uh, again, no happiness harm from that, thankfully, given our awesome set of policies. And now we can keep going that cannon. We have another cannon from Sertica just in time, pretty much. Because th by the time one of the we start losing critical numbers of cannons, this guy will actually be able to make his way over. So that's good. Uh, Sertica is going to get another... Coliseum up, and we'll actually be able to get the Circus Maximus up relatively quickly, and that is excellent news uh, to mitigate any potential losses from our happiness. And uh, that crossbow can sit there, yeah, for the moment. Ken can kind of hang out, and uh, that looks pretty good to me. Again, I'm going to be just hoping and praying we do not lose our musket in some way, but once we get these horses come up, I'm probably just going to pick up a, uh, a knight and just have him run in the last second to take Rio. Assuming we can take it down. 55 strength is pretty high, especially with only three cannons and just a couple crossbows in the offing. This may be whew, really painful, but I can't really dwell on that at the moment. I'm going to get a road up here just so we can connect our empire a tad bit better. Uh, this is a little bit of long, a long road, but... Uh, yeah. 
you know, we got to get it up running at some point. So, might as well do it now. All right, next turn. And if I'm going to move in with one of these crossbows first before I commit my... Uh, did that just go up? Yeah, he just garrisoned something there, I think. I'm going to move my crossbows up just to see if he has a bunch of units standing around here. Because if he does, it's curtains for my cannons. So let's see. He does have frigates. Oh, God, that's going to hurt like hell. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. He's just sitting back waiting for me to come in. He's like, come on, you know you want to. You know you want to attack Rio because I've got frigates in the water. So this is going to hurt a lot. Uh, Lapis from Oda ended. That actually may not be renewed because he's all pissed at me and stuff. Yeah, okay. So we got to find someone else to deal with. Hey, man. I think someone had an extra one they want to trade with me at some point. Darius? Uh, Gaja? Bagyo do. Uh, Pachakuti? And no, of course. He will not do it. What'll make that deal work? That, sir, will not work for me. Uh, this is problematic now, because we went down in happiness at the worst possible time as we're about to take a city, because this obviously reduces your combat strength against said city. So I just hope there's not more frigates out there, because this is basically a cannon per turn in uh, attrition <laughs> at this point. So this is going to start sucking really badly, really quickly. Um, well, this cannon out here, I guess, just to give him more stuff to shoot at. Uh, move this crossbow in there. You're going to hang out here as you do. You're going to hang out there. You can keep healing up, I suppose, though. Huh, what's the best way? Are you a scout guy? You are a scout guy. So we can heal him up once, and then... Hmm, actually, let's keep him. Let's keep him fortified for now. And this is not safe to be here next to this crossbow, so I'm going to move this guy back for the moment. And in the interim, however, I will use this fellow, who is a scout archer, to move in here and take a ping at Rio. Uh, obviously not doing much, but hey. Every little bit counts. The general can hang out back here. Maybe we'll bait something in to come on, come at us from the back, bro. We will see. This may be an overextension of my military might at this point, but we will, we will. That will remain to be seen. Uh, for the moment, though, I'm going to be pretty conservative about this, and I'm going to keep beelining that cannon into here as quickly as possible. And suddenly, getting this coliseum up has become that much more urgent, uh, which is kind of an issue. Uh, we will we'll make do. Let's see. What do we lose? Nope. Come on, let's see. It's like a lottery, it's like, except you can only lose on this lottery. Would you trade olives for spices, though? Yeah, I can't do that, buddy. Um, I guess olives for gold is the only way we're going to do this, so... That's fine. Was that a cannon? Yeah. That was smart. I mean, that is a smart move, obviously. Taking the cannon down while he can. That frigate is just going to hurt like hell. Uh, and it already is starting to hurt. Okay, enough, enough. Let's do the warp it. Um, so let's take a shot over here. We do need to deal with this crossbow. He's going to start annihilating our crossbows. Just a little bit. But for now, let's move this crossbow in. Uh, to give him a little more targets to shoot at. And maybe start pinging at the city. I might as well do this. This is going to cause more attrition to my troops. Um, but I think at this point... I need to get the city down quickly, because losing a cannon a turn is not going to be acceptable. <laughs> not going to be acceptable at all. Choose host. Who can we choose? Well, we get brownie points with Rami, because he's definitely going to win, or we can get Brazil as the host. Uh, let's get Rami as the host for now, because he's there anyway. But that would be nine. That would be 11 votes for him. He'd basically dominate completely. The only chance we have, though... Where, where are we? We don't even have that many votes. We only have two votes. So our votes don't matter here. Effectively, we can't do anything to change this outcome. So, we can vote for someone we want to make friends with. Uh, let's vote for Darius, I guess. He's been pretty friendly to us. But we can't do anything about that. What enemy is near where? Uh, the Prague Caravel. Ah, it's making its devious little way over here. That's okay. Uh, you did a good job there, Trireme, actually. You did a great job covering me from the back. Uh, you, sir... Are finished there, so you can go back and go to sleep, I suppose. Not much to do with you. And you, sir. Oh, you already took a shot. Good. Well, 
One less thing to worry about, I guess. And my musket's gonna hang out here because he is actually pretty valuable at the moment. Cargo ship, hey. You were going to Osaka. Should I do this still? It's still one of my more valuable routes, so might as well. Make some music, Carlos, please. Thank you. Sinfonia India. Get a little more tourism, and we have a general. We can go to sleep, and next. No, 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 okay. Yeah, let's be friends. Great, I'm gonna have to make friends despite me being at war with a lot, uh, pretty often. Let's see. Who died? Okay, Crossbow died. So not terrible. Not terrible again, but he did keep a lot of troops back here waiting for me to commit, which is pretty smart on his part. We do have to get Hio down quickly now. Welcome to the industrial. Uh, get shots at Rio. It's already at 50%, and we are getting another cannon in range, so that's not awful. Though, obviously, we could be doing a little better with our health here. Um, let's see. Well, let's pillage. Yeah, that's dead. Sign becomes host. Not surprising. Spy's been recruited. You're going to go on defense for us now, because apparently we're getting stuff stolen from. Decisions available. I may take that decision to get the plus four happiness at this point. Uh, let's do this. Yes, yeah, codified laws. Um, now, though, looking at the situation at hand, we have no coal, do we? Is there any coal around here that we would acquire from conquest? There is not. Okay, so this is a no coal game, apparently, uh, just as it was a no horse game. So that means we got a beeline radio, which is exactly what I'm doing. So forget dynamite radio now, because we need to get ourselves an ideology, and we'll get ourselves into modern that way, it'll be a little quicker. Uh, let's keep pinging at Rio, though. Yep, this is a bad idea for troop longevity, but for the moment, it's pretty much the only option I've got. You can take a ping at this crossbow, but again, the one thing that could take the city would then get injured, and that would be awful. Yeah, you're, uh, you're in trouble there, buddy. You are in serious trouble. Uh, let's see. Well, we can move this guy back a step. Back step a little bit. And I think this is about the time I buy that cavalry unit I've been talking about so much. Uh, you go here. Serdica, get over here and buy me a knight for the moment. That's all I can do, right? Yeah, I don't have cavalry proper yet. Not that. Purchase. See that? Where's the purchase button? There it is. Still learning EUI a little bit, guys. Still learning. Still learning. Uh, let's see. Yep, you're done. You can just go to sleep in Usukadama for now. And you, sir, you're already fired, so you just kind of hang out, I suppose. Next. Nope. Lost me another crossbow. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, I guess... In retrospect, kind of bad, because those are really veteran units, but, uh, on the other hand, could be worse. Okay, we have a plus one range crossbow now. So, the thing we needed, like, a long time ago, we currently have. On the upshot, though, which one has it? You have it now. Wow. Okay, so, plus one range on this guy is pretty much a godsend. I can sit outside of Rio's range and take pot shots at it. However, <laughs> the issue now is that I am going to get killed by these units here, unless I dive in the water. As crazy as that sounds, this is actually the safest place to be right now, because otherwise these units are going to be able to take me, relatively simply uh, put, because you're not a actual scout guy, yeah. So jumping in the water actually is safe here, because I can't be shot at, I don't think, by anything. I don't see anything that can shoot at me yet. Take pings at Rio some more. Let's do this. And pillage. And we're going to need to actually take this guy down. And I think next turn we should be able to take the city, provided we do not lose our musket. Uh, which is still pretty much an, a big if. Uh, they can take one of our generals right now, which is pretty awful. Unless, well, they may want to take this, uh, this crossbow down first. Let's see. Choose production where? You. You can choose production. Let's go with... I don't know. What can we do here? What makes sense? We need money. We need happiness. Um, we'll almost be able to build the Circus Maximus, so... Lacking a better thing. We're out of room for our great musicians, aren't we, though? Hold on. 
right? We have pretty much all our music. Yeah, so let's get an opera house. I want to keep on top of my tourism this game, just uh, just for a change. You know, just try something different. Not be awful at tourism all the time. Uh, yep, you were you did the horses for me, so you keep doing the road. You finished the road here already. You did, so get working here. And next. This one is going to be down to the wire, folks. Uh, no, I can't do that, because I'm not paying you extra, because I just happen to be slightly more technologically advanced than you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, uh, again. <laughs> Things are not looking good for our brave band of intrepid adventurers, but we may actually be able to take Rio out of this. Uh, this turn. Good lord, I think we'll just squeeze by. Because you can actually take this. Oh, you can't? Oh, hell. That's not good. Uh, this may be a little harder than I thought. Knight, move your butt. Keep your butt moving. Hey, you have... <laughs> you have volley just in time. Um, well, you can... Pillage and attack, I guess. And he may not die horribly. Okay, we need to move our spy, because 40 turns is nowhere near acceptable. Let's go to... Let's go to the Siam... Wait, this, are the Siamese the tech leaders? Hold on. Or is Brazilian still the tech leaders? Brazil's still the tech leader, but we're catching up slowly. Uh, let's go to... We want to be friends with Persia. We're friends with Pocatello already. So I guess Siam wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's dig, not that one. Let's go to Siam. It looks like we killed someone already, which is pretty excellent. Kill an Indonesian spy. Bagyo do for spying on me. Kizil has a new ally. All right. Well, they're buying up city states left and right, but I'm all right with this more or less. Uh, I want this cargo ship, honestly. Uh, let's just go here for now, and maybe I'll be able to catch it on the backswing. Uh, we'll see. I might be able to catch, catch it on the backswing this way, actually. So let's go there for now. Yep. I don't think any hostile. Yep. No hostile ships in range. So the downside is, this guy cleverly positioned himself such that I cannot actually take Rio with my, uh, with my musket. However, we can kill this guy. Let's take the general back. They didn't actually take my general, which I'm duly surprised at. But we can do one of these. We can pillage. We can take another shot of the crossbow. Yeah, let's take Rio down to nil. Next turn, we'll be able to kill the crossbow and move in. Let's see, you are at 91 of 100. Let's bring the general back here, just for now. Uh, what I wouldn't kill for just one more unit. Because this guy seriously got lucky with that health thing. But he's got double cover, so he should be able to survive this regardless. Because the city's down pretty low. So let's see, 91. You take very little damage taking that. So let's just pillage. Move in here. And this should be enough to take the city, assuming my... Musket does not die horribly. So the downside of this war is I lost nearly every single crossbow I had. Nearly. Uh, this guy is still alive in the water somehow miraculously. I'm not even sure if there's another land unit over there. So I'm going to come out back here. And, oh god. Well, at least we have one with plus one range. That was sort of worth it. I guess. <laughs> totally worth it! Uh, not really worth it. We lost a lot there, but taking taking Rio, on the other hand, would be worth it. And which is pretty much the whole point of this war. So, Serdika, we can build you here. What can we build you? Um, we can do the Circus Maximus, and given that I don't have any other major priorities, our income's actually pretty damn good now. Uh, I think Circus Maximus is the idea. Or we can do the Porcelain Tower. You know what? <sighs> Let's see. I'm getting another cannon here, just to have one. I will need to upgrade it at some point. Uh, factories are going to be pretty much a no-go at this rate, since we have no coal. We can get that one decision to get Anarchy in the capital. I'm going to finish this cannon before we go Anarchy. Actually, does it really matter, honestly? No, I mean, this is going to be decided next turn as it is, so... Let's not deal with this. Let's just get the Anarchy decision now. Nationalize the utilities. Where are you? Uh, yep, 300 gold. We have enough money, so might as well do it while we can. Free factory and factory produce one production. We have zero coal anywhere, so factories are not going to be existent anywhere. We will survive. Uh, you can go here. Maybe bait out something. Who knows? And next turn. And let's see what happens. I mean, if he stays alive, we have the city. If not, we have to reevaluate. We were moving the knight in. That'll make things a little easier. Okay. He up and took down one of our cannons. 
I forgive you, buddy. I know you're embarrassed. Your little ear things are trembling. But I still like you. And now we'll be able to take Rio, because one cannon is sufficient, I believe, to take Rio down to zero. And that musket should be able to take it. And he's ready to make peace at this point, yeah. So we just take Rio and make peace immediately. Rio de Janeiro is now down. Their final hard-fought battle with our massive musket military is now going to end with Rio's capture, creating a puppet. Okay. So, created a puppet. We're at minus two. That is not as bad as I expected. We will now make peace with the Brazilians. Hola. He wants flat peace. At this point, I'm okay with that. Uh, I lost pretty much Continue. all my military doing that. Uh, which is a downer, but on the other hand, we still have one decent crossbow left. <laughs> just one. Just one. And, and we have three siege units. And a melee unit. So needless to say, some military buildup will be necessary at this juncture. But for the moment, we are still relatively safe. Uh, the Japanese have not declared on us. We're going to get radio and then loop back to artillery, deal with the Japanese, and then I really do sincerely hope from <laughs> the deepest part of my heart that we actually have oil somewhere. And if we find that, we actually may be able to close this game out in the conquesty fashion we want to. If we do not have oil, however, wow. Can I just say something real quick? This island is going to become a hotbed of contention. Look at this. Three different sieves dropping cities on this tiny little scrap heap of an island. And for some reason, so important to have. Wow. That is going to be funny to see. Um, Usukadama at this point can make the Circus Maximus. Um, since you're doing the Porcelain Tower. You, sir, are a great scientist. What can we do with you? We're going to put you in a place where you can do great science. So go there and make an academy. Obviously, this is not going to help us anything on our science currently because our capital is an anarchy, which is why we have 12 turns of scientific theory and not like four. Um, but for now, that is a successful war. We finally took down the Brazilian capital. We have a lot of pretty things in the capital. Look at these wonders. Artists, lighthouse, a great library. And that is why we didn't go up in happiness. I'm going to take a wild guess and assume Notre Dame and Globe Theater are in Salvador. They are not in Rio. That's why I'm still at minus two. I was warning him, like, I really thought I'd be able to go up with taking Rio. But three of the wonders are squirreled away in Salvador. And Brazil was very clever with that, I have to say. Very cleverly done, keeping me from that benefit. Um... Well, I don't know if that was intent or not, but that was really damn smart of him. So now we kind of recoup, regroup, reset our military back to uh, something resembling functional functional quality. I mean, because we are really way down. We pretty much went from a pretty decent military to a non-existent one. And once we do that, we can think about dealing with the Japanese. Yeah, and I think we're definitely going to... That's not going to be happening for a little while until we have artillery, until we can take Kyoto pretty much with no... No real threat on our part. Um, Kyoto, let's see, you don't have any wonders, though, do you? No, he does have some. He has Colossus, Machu Picchu, and Statue of Zeus. So we know Machu Picchu's there. We can see it there. Let's see. Can we see the Colossus? Colossus is right there. And the Statue of Zeus. So it's all in Kyoto. So we can, if we can take Kyoto, we might leave him Osaka, just because one city, Japan, is not a threat. Uh, we don't want to wipe him out. And we would get two unique luxuries from, Osa from Kyoto, so that would be worthwhile. I think that is the next plan. Uh, for the moment, though, let's take one general, put him in here. Oddly enough, we didn't lose any generals at this. I kind of have expected we would, given uh, how close they all came to dying. And let's see. Yep, I put one else. You can sit there. Uh, this general can sit back in Setopolis because you can. This worker can finally get back to dry land after being on the island sojourn for a little while. And you're doing okay, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can reallocate there. Let's see. Uh, we already made peace. We would have been able to take this down for 200 more gold. I do that a lot, actually. You notice that? That's something I could really improve in my play, is that uh, I take peace deals before I optimize what I can get out of them. Uh, namely, I could have pillaged that route, then made peace. I just kind of get excited when I take the city I've been dreaming about for so long. So, yeah. Uh, remember to do that. Don't do what I do. Do better. Do better. Use me as an example of what not to do in the case of war. All right, let's see. 
Yeah, this looks all pretty good. We got to get ourselves out of this happiness hole. It's not going to be for a while, unfortunately, with the Circus Maximus. We don't really have another option for happiness. Though, we do have a lot of tobacco. Maybe some... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. You don't like me because I destroyed your entire country, essentially. Uh, in kind of one fell swoop. So, yeah, I took the heart of your empire. Now you're just kind of two scattered domains on other sides of the world. Brazil is probably going to be taken by either uh, the Persians or the Indonesians at some point. Great writer is good. Death of a great artist. Gain a free great work of art. Lose 140 gold. Yeah, I'm doing that. Great work of art is more useful than anything else. That is depressing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the Russians. Very particular artistic tone, you know, just oh, so sad. Okay. Not, yeah, again, more depressing Russian things. Maxim Gorky. On the bottom, or at the bottom, literally translated, I think. I think I actually translation there anyway. So that was unnecessary on my part, but yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. Happiness is always so good until you lose it, then you have no more happiness, and then you cry like real men. Uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's keep one. We're gonna keep one guy, our musket up here, covering. Let's keep one cannon here, covering, and let's bring this other cannon back. Uh, we do have some experience moving. And we took care of that already. Uh, let's see. Death of a Great Artist, don't care. Bogota, we're gonna my great writer. Nice. Okay, that's nice. And Brazil has denounced me, and no one cares. Okay, cool. So, let's see. What is our next approach here? Uh, the Wonder is good. I don't think anyone has Rationalism yet. Again, they could have the opener. I'm really kind of sad that that doesn't get listed here. Trishan Piety Aesthetics, Piety Aesthetics, Piety, Exploration. With five Exploration. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Nice to see AIs doing that. Uh, he now has access to the hidden... Uh, hidden uh, Antiquity Sites, I guess is the word for it. I would say Archaeology Sites. They're called Antiquity Sites. Hidden Antiquity Sites which gives them a little more tourism. Ah. Uh, Let's see. How do we deal with this happiness a little better? I mean, 17 turns is not great. I mean, this is fine for now, given that I'm not growing for crap anyway. But I do wish I could really do that a little faster. Um, we could be able to get a zoo here, I guess, and that'll be, that'll be fine. Before the Ken. That's kind of a priority. Let's do that. Obviously, how many more turns do we have? Three? Yeah, three more resistance. So that'll be over soon. We can put the worker to sleep for now. Trium is doing okay. We'll need to upgrade our fleet once we have observatory tech um, to caravels because we're a little obsolete at that point. Wow, pyramids, huh? No, I'm going to hate. Would you trade anything for this? How about that? Nope, wrong one. Nope. Okay, how much do I have still? Oh, still four tobacco. Yes, please. Let's give all your flat gold since you are a friend of ours. You got a friend in me. Uh, and three GPT? No, you won't do that. So let's just take this down a little bit. 147. That's, that's still too much. No, that's reasonable. Kay. 141. There we go. Add a man. And uh, we will take and upgrade this guy to a proper Gatling gun momentarily. And this will be a two-range Gatling gun, so he will be remain useful as we move on later and later. Uh, this is just hilarious, though. The pyramids in, what, 1510 AD in Japan? Totally sounds legit. Luckily, I got a museum out of Rio, I think. So, filling it with our great works. Oh, not even there. Where are we filling it? We're filling it in Sao Paulo? Yeah, we're filling it in Sao Paulo. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't have to build museums and actually have room to put all these great artists. Oh, yeah, sorry. Zero still. We were relocated. Okay. Um, Iron to Nobunaga ended. That's fine. Great person born. We did that already. This general, you were heading back um, to Sao Paulo. There we go. Good. Uh, this, like I said, this cannon can move back. And this territory is going to be a little bit of a no man's land here. Someone may drop a city, an annoying city. But uh, at this point, I'm okay. I'm going to try to move this road, actually. Not the way I initially thought. I'm going to kind of scoot it this way in case someone does drop a city here. We'll be able to shoot past it and get the Sitopolis regardless. Uh, Desires Amber, not going to happen anytime soon. Let's just quickly look to see if we actually have something to trade with people. Nope, you don't have any doubles. That's me. You, we just traded for... Uh, yeah. Bagyoto. Uh, you... No. Dang. You did, but you're a punk for some reason. And then you're not going to trade me. Crap. Because you were guarded against me. Um, okay. He's still pretty... Far ahead in tech, though, I have to say. He is doing remarkably well for the fact that his empire is crippled. Uh, he has electricity already, which is all the way up here. 
Yeah, that's pretty high. And I'm thinking he's going to go for radio, too, since he is kind of a, a culture monger. If he's a monger of anything, he's a monger of culture. Uh, come on now. There we go. Rami's in the modern. Good lord. Oh, yeah, this whole, this whole starting slow. And you notice, like, how much, how much you're opening your first couple turns really dictate the flow of the game. Um, wow, we grew despite... Despite that, okay. And so, as you can see, the AI is keeping us, keeping up with us on tech remarkably well. Um, mainly because we started a little slower with that pure honor start. We didn't get lucky and have someone next to us. So, yeah, now we're, now we're kind of suffering for it. And the AI is first to the modern. So, yeah, this could be a, <laughs> this could be a, a heck of a game. We'll see if we can turn this into the conquest we want. Or we may have to reroute, possibly monetarily. Or possibly, uh, science -y again. I really hope not. And the Japanese declared war on me. Yep. Okay, so. He has a crap ton of samurai. Uh, which is scary. These guys are really good. They can pretty much overrun things. And at this level of strength of my military, I pretty much have very little to dissuade him from doing just that. Uh, so for the moment, I'm going to need a Gatling gun here, stat. That is two ranged. And this is going to go haywire real soon. Yet another caravel to fight with our trireme. Yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna heal up and hope not to die. And now, ladies and gents, we've got a problem. Because we have some Japanese folks that want our heads. At least we can get some money from this. So we're gonna have to go right back into military production at some point. Um, yeah, this is getting interesting, folks. And I think I'm gonna cut it there on that... Massive cliffhanger note, uh, we have a problem. We have an angry Japanese neighbor who desires our downfall. We have precious little military with which to stop him. And a whole lot of problems besides. So this, folks, is going to be a nail-biter. We should be able to hold him off, but if he keeps bringing this much troops, and if this is all Japanese troops, I may actually lose some of these cities. And uh, that my friends, is very bad. So join me next time while we see if we can hold off the Japanese assault and uh, kind of get ourselves back to a stable footing. Uh, I'm queuing up some happiness things now because every little bit of combat power is going to help. Luckily, Sao Paulo is out of resistance by now, and we can actually use it to defend ourselves. Rio, on the other hand, is still in there for nine, so if they go past me, go past Sao Paulo and go for Rio, there'll be nothing stopping them. Uh, so yes, we need to stop them here. Sao Paulo is the... <laughs> it has to be the Rubicon. It has to be, you do not pass. Ye shall not pass this place. Oh boy, this is going to be good. Alright, join me again for the Thracians as we see if we can... Hold on to our territorial gains and keep bringing the world down to our level. Bring it down to our will and impose it upon everyone else. All right, till then.